again, and welcome back to the IDG Corporate Update. Returning to our show today is Sean McLean, founder and CEO of Absci. Sean, it's great to see you again. Yeah, it's great to see you as well. Now, I recently had the pleasure of hearing you speak at the Canaccord Genuity Annual Growth Conference in Boston, and I know there's been a lot of exciting developments for Absci over the past few months, but perhaps can you take a step back and give us an overview of the company for those who might be new to Absci? Yeah, absolutely. We're a generative AI drug creation uh, company, really going from this uh, paradigm of drug discovery where you're searching for a needle in the haystack to uh, now actually going to drug creation where you're actually creating the, the needle, in our case, a, a, a biologic. And if you look at just how drugs have traditionally been made, it's it's through, you know, immunization. Regeneron was you know, really the, the founders of, you know, the humanized uh, mouse uh, and you basically inject a, let's say, a cancer target into the mouse and, you know, the mouse uses its own immune system to generate the, the, the antibodies. Um, but the issue you have with that is you have no control over what the mouse uh, gives you. You know, you don't, you, you don't have the ability to control, you know, where it binds the efficacy, developability, manufacturability. And, and what we're doing is, is actually eliminating that sort of process and being able to use generative AI to be able to design the antibody with all the attributes you want. So being able to, you know, hit the, the area of the target, have the affinity you want, uh, you know, which is the functionality, having developability and manufacturability. Uh, and that's what we really see as increasing the overall probability of success through the clinic. Because over the last 20 years, this, the success rates really haven't changed. It's been about a, a 4% success rate uh you know you know from from start to, to to finish and with you know generative ai uh now we can start to to increase that success rate by honing in on the attributes you want the first go go around um and then also going after you know what you know we say are kind of these undruggable targets where you know the immune system you know in an immunization campaign you know isn't you know able to generate antibodies towards like gpcrs or ion channels and so that really unlocks new biology to, again, another way to increase that success rate and that ability to create, you know, first in class molecules, best in class. Uh, and, 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 and additionally, we're able to really shorten the timeline going from uh, in the in the preclinical development going from, you know, roughly five and a half years from kind of um, idea to drug in the clinic to uh, roughly 18 to 24 months. So really this type of technology is is increasing success rates and, and shortening the, the you know, the overall uh, development uh, times, um, you know, to get into the clinic. Wow, four uh, percent success rate traditionally that leaves a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So moving on to your very recent news, that being Absci joining forces with Caltech to tackle the development of an affordable HIV therapeutic vaccine with the support of a major grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Can you tell us more about this partnership? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this was, um, you know, a partnership with uh, Cal Caltech, uh, Dr. Uh, Steve Steve Mayo and uh, Dr. Pamela Borkman. Uh, uh, we we really uh, joined forces uh, with them to to be able to um, you know potentially develop uh, some antibody uh, vaccines for HIV. And one of the exciting aspects of of this is you know what we're doing is using our de novo AI antibody technology to basically design antibodies to bind to the virus in a, in a way that previously hasn't been able to to be achieved before. And so I think it really highlights like. If we are successful uh, with this, we will show that AI was able to design, you know, a drug to to HIV that was effective that you couldn't have gotten, you know, really any other any other way. Uh, and so, obviously, this is a huge, you know, moonshot type of of uh, program here. Uh, definitely, you know, challenging aspects uh, to it, but I think. Uh, if if successful, it's going to be you know extraordinary for 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 patients, um, and and also really highlight uh, how you know AI can and can truly develop you know highly innovative you know therapies and 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 then kind of unlock these the the, the biology that is is needed to kind of make these you know um, breakthrough cures. And we're really excited to be partnering up with you know leading academic researcher we've uh, we've kicked, kicked that program off and and we're excited to in the future uh discuss with investors kind of the the, the success along the way
Absolutely. I'm rooting for you on, on that one. That would have uh, such global impact and uh, obviously yeah, be, you know, just a remarkable development in that fight against HIV, which has been going on for, you know, as long as I can remember. So we saw you had some uh, successful progress on the Merck collaboration. Do you want to give us some background on that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Merck has been an amazing partner of ours. Uh, you know, it, it, it dates back um, a few years now. Uh, we've, um, you know, to date, have had two successful programs uh, with with them. Uh, the the first one was actually uh, cell line development, uh, which we had, you know, started on a few years um, back. This new one was uh, designing uh, better uh, enzymes to go into their manufacturing process with non-standard amino acids uh, incorporated into them. Uh, one of our other existing uh, Syn Biotechnologies, uh, which was super successful, and now we're you know in discussions about how do we uh, you know elect the, the 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 target to go into AI drug discovery. Um, so that'd be the third program um, that we'd be moving into uh, there. And additionally, Merck um, has you know made an investment in us while we are private. Um, Merck uh, uh, GHI, and so again have a very uh, strong uh, relationship with them. Uh, the, the yeah the uh, the, uh, the the second successful program was just announced. Uh, we're going to be you know um, um, hopefully in the near future uh, moving on to the third um, program with them. And so um, again, I think that actually you know really shows that once you you know have a successful program with with a large pharma, you know you continue to have repeat business that 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 occurs. Uh, and and so we're we're excited to you know continue to partner with 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 Merck uh, and uh, we we see that as a you know a a really important flagship partner of ours. Thank you so much for this update, Sean. We really appreciate your time today and look forward to continuing to follow your story. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for for having me on today, and uh, look forward to uh, chatting with you soon.